Hey, if your baskets are basic and you just can't take it, you're gonna love today's episode. You know it's Laugh Cry DIY. You know I'm your girl Katie. I have a room makeover coming up. We need some baskets, but I'm a cheap whore and we know baskets can be very expensive. If you're looking at West Elm, if you're looking at Anthropology, $50, $400. So I went to the thrift store and I scored these three beauties. We have Drew, Cameron, and Lucy. So today I'm gonna to show you three easy ways to make over the boring baskets in your life. Because as Dolly Parton once said, if your baskets are cute, you'll never suffer from depression again. Today we are starting with Lucy Lou. Um, and actually I wanna be honest and authentic and tell you I lied. I did not thrift this basket. This is actually an Ikea Flatus basket. This basket alone is great for like storage for kids toys because it's really big. It can fit basically like a planter tree. You can keep it full or flip it down and it's a bowl. But as we can see, she's so basic. And the space that she's going to live in needs a pop of pattern, so that's exactly what we're going to do. I want to start by doing some triangles. I'm triple checking my design 500 more times. Okay, yes. Oh my God, wait, before you paint, lift it up because the paint will seep through on the bottom. We're good. Cool. Alrighty, looking good. I don't know if you can see, the rim is actually separate weaving. So we're just gonna hit that with black and we're gonna call it a day on this bad boy. Alrighty, looking great. I think we're good. Um, we're gonna do the full diamond pattern because this is gonna be going on the ground and from above, you just can't see the pattern that much and we cannot live with that. Okay, this is better. I'm gonna dry, gonna do a second coat, but I think for this one, we are officially done. Alrighty, next up, we are dealing with Cameron. She's simple, she's basic, she's easy, but to jazz this little girl up, this grown woman, we want to add some texture. Now, when it comes to baskets, tassels can change lives. And I've seen tons of cute examples from all of your favorite brands. And so today I thought it would be very fun and very simple and very easy to add some tassels to this little baby. And now, welcome to Tassel Talk with Katie. Before I show you how to make a tassel, let's talk about tassel anatomy. It's gonna get weird. Here I have a cute, beautiful little tassel. And what you see here is the head and the tail. And then this is basically the little hanging part. So first things first, you need to decide how long you want your tassel to be. I want my tassel to be the length of this stack of post-its. You can use a piece of cardboard. You wanna use something slightly sturdy so that you can wrap your tassel around it. So you need to decide how long you want it and that's gonna be your template. Then you need to decide how thick you want it because basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna start wrapping the string around your little template and you'll see how thick your tassel will actually be. So I have decided I actually want mine to be 20 wraps long. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then I'm gonna trim that. Next, I'm gonna cut two pieces of yarn. Next step, I'm terrible at filming things. You wanna keep this whole thing together. So you're gonna loop a piece of yarn up on the top and you're gonna double knot that. And then you can slide your tassel off and you will have this tied loop. Now we want to tie off the head of the tassel. And to do that, we're gonna put our yarn down and then you're gonna tie it where you want the head to be. Cut the loop. And I trim off a little bit to make a flush edge. And now you have a cute, sweet, beautiful tassel. And now we have 16 adorable tassels. And where we tied to like make the little head, these little strings were sticking out. So I did trim those off of all of them and now they are just beautiful and lie flat and smooth. Now you may be working with a basket with a loose weave so you can easily string the string through. The edges of this like fray a little bit and this is a somewhat narrow weave. So pro tip, I just wrapped the end of this in tape and that makes it a lot easier for me to simply slide through 
and we're just gonna double knot on the inside of it so that the knot faces the inside instead of the top. And we're gonna do that all the way around. And by the way, tassels are a great way to cover up any part of your basket that's broken, or if you have a weird broken handle, or some of the weaving has started to unwind, throw a tassel on it and no one will ever know. And I will tell you how crazy I am about tassels. I once made over 200 tassels and hand stitched them onto curtains so that I could have tassel curtains because I didn't want to spend $300 on anthropology curtains. Sorry, anthropology. We're adjusting and we're trimming. And by the way, if you're a girl who's gone through a breakup and you want to cut your bangs, make some tassels first, trim those up, then see how you feel. You guys. Okay, seriously, it looks so good. I think we're done. Whoa. And lastly, we are finishing up with our girl, Drew. We are going to glam it up with some beads. Lately, I'm obsessed with beads on planters, vases, baskets, such a great, simple, easy way to add a little bit more flair and a little bit more texture to a piece. Now, if you wanna add beads to a basket of your own, you can go to the dollar store, you can go to the craft store. I like to go to the thrift store and comb the actual bead section because when I was recently at the thrift store, I found the perfect beads for this piece. Are you ready? They are, whoa. They are big, they are wood, and they are formerly part of a caveman costume. This is the exact type of thing I love to upcycle. This is obviously like a Halloween costume, but the color is perfect, and they actually even have some shine, which actually gives them some more va-va-voom. What are these words I'm saying? So to repurpose these, I'm gonna take these beads apart, and I'm actually gonna restring them with some twine. This is because the white string that is on this pokes through, and I wanted it something that was a little bit more of a natural um, texture and color that was a little bit closer to the actual basket. So let's do my favorite thing in the world, destroy something. So again, I'm just taping the tip of this and the tail so that I can easily string these through. Let's see. What we're gonna do is actually just create little beaded handles. So cute! I can't believe I've been painting and creating tassels with string and using this twine and my cat is nowhere to be found and nowhere to be found messing this up. And we're gonna loop it through the side, but as you can see, there's a very tight weave here. So what I did is I grabbed a um, toothpick and basically if you can see it kind of made that hole a little bit bigger just by um, kind of stretching through and I'm gonna knot it through and pull it down so the knot is on the inside but the beads lay really lovely like draped over the side and I just use this tape to measure the distance between the other two beads and that way I know that I'm tying off at the right kind of distance between them. It's fun to be a lazy girl. And I do believe uh, this bad boy is done too. So now that you've seen all these made, let's show you what they look like with your big, exciting, very special, <gasps> big reveal. Well friends, these are, um, how do you say, absolutely adorable, super easy, super cheap, and a perfect upcycle to do with any basket you have on hand. If you want more cheap hoard decor tips, go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, throw a tassel and a bead and a bit of paint on any problem in your life. You guys, I was sitting on this broken toothpick.